Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you. Hello, my name is Nazmus Kandakar, and today I want to do a quick video on Chuck's challenge. Alright, so let's get started. Uh, here I have my Windows 8 uh, desktop, and the purpose of this video is to show how the latest build of Chuck's Challenge works with a touch. As you can see, I could simulate touch on the PC I'm recording. So as you can see, what I'm doing right now is swiping horizontally. And on the on the right of this simulator, you'll see some uh, options like multi-touch, which I'm going to select right now. And I could pinch out to zoom out and pinch in to zoom back in. And as you can see, I could also pan. Um, so what I'm going to do is use these simulations to see how they, uh, how Chuck's challenge react. Now, from my uh, personal experiences, uh, I will say that um, sometimes uh, uh, the results vary. So sometimes some uh, real touch input might work, whereas the simulations might not. And uh, so sometimes uh, in various parts uh, if just because something might not work in Chuck's challenge um, it'll definitely work it might actually work with a real touch input what you could see what you could see me do right now is show you that because I'm simulating touch a virtual keyboard pops up whenever I click a text field now I'm going to switch back to a mouse and then actually uh, run Chuck's challenges from um, the external hard drive so uh, what I'm doing is actually typing in the exact uh, address of uh, the directory where the where I have placed the latest build of Chuck's challenge uh, because this is a beta I haven't actually installed it on my main hard drive so basically um, I do not have a touch PC with me at, a mo at the moment uh, that's why I'm doing using the, using the simulator so I'll say again if, if it does not work here, I'm not saying it might not work with um, real touch input, but um, but still, this is the best I can do. Uh, I will say these this uh, discrepancy happens with desktop apps, with Metro style apps, the Windows 8 apps. The simulator works perfectly fine as it does on the real, as it does on a real touch input. So, and because Chuck Challenge is a desktop app, um, we might have discrepancies. So okay, so the game's loading. Uh, because this is a simulator, uh, I cannot run the game in full screen. Uh, it just doesn't work. I will get an error message, so I'm running in windowed mode. Um, we'll just we'll, we'll wait for it to load. As you can see, I switched to the touch input. Okay, the game's here. So the first thing I want to do is see what happens when I click uh, click uh, the text field. Uh, on a touch enabled game a virtual keyboard should pop up um, but I have to manually do it and this is not uh, ideal if I'm playing it full screen I can't really you know what, is, what, what can I say I can't pop up a keyboard by clicking the keyboard button on the taskbar when I'm in full screen so that part may be a little difficult when I'm using a tablet so, so the first test not optimized for touch but no worries, I'm going to pause the video and actually type my password because I don't want to reveal it, even though it'll be asterisks. Okay, anyway, uh, here we're in the main menu, and the problem here is I cannot pan to uh, like swipe and um, pan around. Um, but I will say this might actually work in um, a real touch PC because I can't scroll with the mouse either. Um, I cannot scroll the mouse. So I'll show you. Uh, so, but when I when I'm actually using a real PC, it actually works. So, the fact that I can't pan with the touch control doesn't mean that it doesn't work. But it doesn't work in the simulator. So, we'll continue. And another issue I notice is I have to double tap. So one tap does not resolve the issue. So I tap twice to actually get uh, to select a button. This was an issue with an earlier build. Uh, this newer build is op optimized for touch, but even now, um, this does not work. I need to double tap. Again, this might actually be a discrepancy of the simulator. So I'm going to load a level, levels, and see how it works.
on the demo that uh, was released by the official Chuck's Channel YouTube channel, it responded to touch. So what I, wherever I tap, wherever they tapped, Whoop went. Whoop is the main character. But here, as you can see, nothing's happening. Again, this might be a result of it being the simulator. But you can see, I could pinch and zoom, which is impressive. So that when I'm pinching out, it zooms out. Pinch and zoom, zoom in. So this works, but I can't make Whoop move. Uh, using the simulator so um, so this is definitely a bug I don't know if it's a I I don't have a real touch PC to test it but I hope this gets resolved but pinch and zoom works fine uh, I cannot make whoop navigate um, so I'll have to use the keyboard which is not ideal if I'm a, on a tablet but anyway this isn't this is a beta so Actually, I never played this level. Actually, um, I want to show you the latest level that is the latest in the edition of Chuck's Challenge, but uh, that is not available on the iOS version. But I cannot pan pan around to actually reach it. So anyway, basically, I haven't played this level, so I don't know what to do. Yeah. I have no idea. You know, I just I'll just exit. Um, I will notice. I will note that uh, the game looks really uh, like a Windows 8 app. Um, as you can see, when I pause the game, an app bar came from the bottom. That's part of the Windows 8 design language. So I'm hoping they're working on a secret Windows 8 build uh, for the Windows 8 store. But hey, I'm only dreaming. But um, but see, pinch and zoom works here, so I could pinch in and pinch out. Uh, but I cannot pan for some reason. See, I cannot pan with the mouse either. So this might actually be a um, simulator issue. Oh, also notice when I selected the hand, the selection is also Windows 8 store design screen. So this suggests that they're actually because they're taking a cue from the Windows 8 designs. Look, when I right click on a uh, selection, this is just uh, out of the this is what you call it out of topic but um, when I right click this as you can see there's an ad app bar just like on Chuck's challenge and when I um, I don't yeah I don't think I could right click that but anyway um, as you can see I could the arrow itself the back arrow is just like the back arrow in Chuck's challenge so I'm saying this looks and also when you select it this has a the selection is a lot similar to a Windows 8 uh, Chuck's Challenge uh, selection. So what I'm saying is, this looks like a lot of Windows 8 design queue. So I'm hoping they have a Windows 8 app. I'm all, I'm holding my breath because I would love to have a touch-enabled version because Unity 4, the latest game engine they're using, I hope they're using the latest, uh, supports Windows 8. So I'm holding my breath, but um, hey, I can only dream. But um, I could place objects with touch, which is good. But again, I cannot pan, but this might be actually an issue with the simulator and not Chuck's challenge. But I cannot tell because I don't have a touch PC right now. So anyway, I'm not going to make a level. I'm not going to be making a level, but um, I just want to show you how it works. Sorry for the extra long video, but um, there you have it. Uh, what else can I say? Um, not a lot, but it's it's working. I like the game, I just hope the touch is fixed and I really hope to have a Windows 8 version. So um, thank you for watching and goodbye. Assalamu alaikum.